What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today we're gonna to be installing some DS Racing LF4 drift tires on my Kyosho Route 246 aluminum rims. So I wanted to go ahead and do this on video because the first time I installed DS Racing tires, it was on this car, which these are auto scale rims that came with the car, and these are plastic, and I was able to simply press fit them. It was super simple, I did it by hand, and I had zero issues. But when I installed these LF1 drift tires on my uh, Route 246 aluminum rims, I first time I did it, I tried to press fit these things just by hand, just pushing them together and trying to get it to press fit like it worked with this car. And I, I had absolute nightmare, guys. I was literally pushing so hard, I bruised my hand on my palm from the rims. And then I ended up giving up on that method. And what I did was I ended up getting up, getting out some pliers and I just kind of pushed the rim and uh, tire together. But what I ended up doing was I marred a couple of the stickers on these LF1 tires. So I want to do these LF4 tires the right way. And the right way is to go ahead and heat up your tires first. So let's go ahead and I'm going to be using water for this one. You can either use boiling water to heat up the tires or you can use a heat gun. So Beaver's Hobby Channel, I'll try to link the video up above. He does it with a heat gun and I don't have a heat gun, but I think the heat gun's the better way to do it since you have a lower risk of messing up your stickers. But I'm gonna be very careful today using boiling water. So what we're gonna do for the plan is we're gonna use this glass pan and we're gonna shallowly fill it up with a little bit of water and uh, let the tires sit in there for a minute so they'll warm up a little bit and they'll expand. And here are our rims. These have been in the freezer for a few hours now, so they're pretty much frozen. And so hopefully, theoretically, the rims will shrink a little bit and heating up these tires will expand a little bit. So I'll be able to uh, fit these tires onto the rim super easily. And hopefully we won't have any issues. So we'll see how that goes today. But that's the plan is to simply press fit these tires onto here by simply warming them up first. And it should be super straightforward. It should be simple. So let's go ahead. I got the water heating up and we'll circle back once that's hot. All right, so I brought the water to a boil and now I've let it cool for about five minutes because I don't want to use too hot a water and melt the tires, but I do want to make sure that the water is nice and hot and it'll expand the tires. So my plan is to put two tires at a time because that way I can leave the other set of rims in the freezer and let them cool down or let them stay cool while we're doing this process. And what I'm gonna do is pour just enough water up here so that the water comes just below the sticker line. So I'm gonna try to be really careful All right, there we go. So the stickers are not completely submerged. They're just barely above the water line. So hopefully they'll stay dry and they won't get messed up. So I'm gonna let these sit in here for about a minute and we'll circle back once they've warmed up. All right, so I've let these heat up for about two minutes now. So let's go ahead and pull these out of the water and dry them off. Make sure they're nice and dry. Oh yeah, these are warm, feeling good. Grab a cold tire and see how we do. Ooh. Mm. There we go. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to center the LF4 in between two of the spokes on the rims to try to keep all the four tires looking similar. So that way one of them doesn't look, I don't know, kind of janky or something. Ugh. All right. So I was able to press fit these ones on and these look great. So let's go ahead and move on to the next set. Set these to the side. Here's our next set of rims. And we'll go ahead and drop these guys in the water. All right, I've let these heat up for about three minutes now because the last set were, I think I just pulled them out just a second too early, just, you know, like a minute too early. So I wanna make sure these ones are nice and warm and let's go ahead and try to press fit it because it was still easier than when I did it with the LF1s. I didn't need pliers to press fit them, but uh, still it was a little bit rough. So let's see how these do. So again, I'm just gonna try to line up this LF4 in between two of the spokes. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just get it close. All right. There we 
There we go. And you wanna make sure that the tire is completely flush with the rim on the inside of it, and that's how you know you did a good mounting job. Let's do this again, line it up, make her look pretty. Get it started with your fingers. There we go. And then just kinda use your strength, a little bit of weight, push it down. All right, it's nice and flush. So there we have it. That's how you install LF4 drift tires or just any DS racing or any mini Z, some micro mini Z all wheel drive drift tires on aluminum rims. Because in my opinion, or at least in my experience, the aluminum rims are always a little bit tighter on these plastic drift tires. Maybe because it's metal on plastic, they grip a little bit. Um, but either way, it was super simple process and I highly recommend heating up your tires first, whether you do it with hot water or you do it with a heat gun, no matter what it is, just make sure you heat them up with something and cool your rims down in the freezer. So I froze mine for about four, maybe five hours this morning and it worked out beautifully. So I'm really excited because now that I have these tires mounted, these are 1.5 millimeter offset. So I can use these on my R32 and this is an MA030 over here. And I've been using LF1 tires exclusively for this car so far. So I'm really excited to try out LF4 tires versus the LF1 tires, compare them. And I'm going to be able to give you guys a full review on the DS Racing tires and compare directly LF4s and LF1s, in my opinion, in the settings that I drifted in. So generally, I drift on either hardwood floors or on a polished concrete, like in a garage. So... Anyways, look forward to a review coming down the pipeline soon, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. hope you guys find it informative. If you do, please give the video a like, and if you uh, would like to help out this channel, please consider subscribing, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time.